On Wednesday, the World Health Organization, WHO, announced that the pox outbreak in Africa has reached the level of a global health emergency. The decision followed a meeting of WHO's emergency committee, prompted by fears that a more lethal strain of the virus, clade IB, had spread to four new countries in Africa, beyond its previous containment in the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. During a virtual session, the independent experts advised who Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus on the situation's seriousness. Tedros subsequently declared a public health emergency of international concern, PHEIC, the highest alert level under international health regulations. The emergence and swift spread of a noom pox clade in eastern DRC, its presence in previously unaffected neighboring countries, and the risk of further dissemination within Africa and beyond are extremely troubling, Tedros noted. A FIAC is reserved for extraordinary events that pose a significant public health risk internationally and may necessitate a coordinated global response, according to WHO guidelines. Daimyo Goina, chair of the emergency committee, commented. It was unanimously agreed that this mpox outbreak is an extraordinary event. What we see in Africa is just the beginning. We don't yet fully understand the scope of the mpox issue. Earlier in the week, the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Africa CDC, also declared the outbreak a public health emergency of continental security, the first such declaration since the agency's inception in 2017. In 2024, over 17,000 pox cases and 500-plus deaths have been reported in 13 African countries. The DRC, with over 14,000 cases reported this month, accounts for 96% of the confirmed cases. Mpox, previously known as monkeypox, is a viral illness that spreads through close contact such as touching, kissing, or sex, and through contaminated items like bedding and clothing. Symptoms include fever, a painful rash, headaches, muscle aches, fatigue, and swollen lymph nodes. While the disease was once mainly found in Central and West Africa, it spread to Europe and North America in 2022. The WHO declared a global health emergency in July 2022 and ended it in May 2023. Mpox consists of two genetic clades, 1 and 2. Clade 2 was responsible for the 2022 outbreak, but clade IB, which causes more severe illness, is now spreading. We're facing multiple outbreaks of different clades in various countries, each with distinct transmission modes and risks, Tedros clarified. There have been no reported cases of cladine pox in the United States. However, the CDC is closely monitoring the situation and has offered support including funding, assistance, and vaccines to the WHO and DRC. The CDC recently advised U.S. individuals at high risk of pox to get vaccinated. WHO officials have emphasized that with appropriate measures, the virus could be managed effectively. They are calling for increased global cooperation for funding, organizing response efforts, and conducting research to better understand clade IB. A coordinated global effort is essential to control these outbreaks and save lives, Tedros stressed. The WHO has approved the emergency use listing process from pox vaccines and developed a regional response plan requiring $15 million, with $1.5 million already allocated from the WHO Contingency Fund for Emergencies. There are currently 500,000 doses of vaccine available with the potential to produce 2.4 million more by year-end. The DRC and Nigeria will receive the first batches of these vaccines. While vaccines are crucial, who underscores that controlling the outbreak will also need enhanced surveillance, diagnostics, and research to address gaps in knowledge. We can curb pox transmission with a united effort using diverse strategies, said Dr. Maria Van Kerkhove from WHO's Department of Epidemic and Pandemic Preparedness and Prevention. There's a lot of uncertainty, but we have an opportunity to make significant progress through research and support for our member states.